Howdy folks, Dan Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and what I got here is a Nokia Lumia 900 on AT&T. Nothing special there except for the fact that this is running Tango, the official Windows Phone Tango and more importantly this is the official one from Nokia and AT&T that should be coming out anytime in the next couple weeks. It showed up on Nokia servers, you can download it now via Nokia Care Suite and you can see here I got 8779 with the latest firmware on board. Of course, if you do it this method, you're not just forcing it, you're actually flashing the whole device, so it will wipe it clean to a factory restall. So, mind you, you're going to lose everything. Uh, that's a big risk, especially if you have saved games. Anyway, so what's new in the ROM? One of the biggest things I've noticed, it's actually not even that big of a deal, but it's kind of cool still, are the lights here on the um, capacitive buttons. They normally would shut off on a 900. In fact, in my original review, I made a comment about that. Uh, this time they actually stay on while the screen is on, which actually makes sense. Also, the screen itself adjusts a little bit better to ambient light, meaning here that it actually goes a little bit dimmer now when it's in low light. Probably will save you battery life, but the colors are also adjusted to look better with that as well. Uh, flip to silence should be here. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I don't see, see it as an option, so I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, the other thing is counters and contact transfer. These are two apps that came out recently for Nokia, and they wouldn't work on the AT&T Lumia 900 due to it not having 8779, more specifically the firmware needed. And I will launch them quickly here, and I won't set up my pairing here, but as you can see, it actually launches the apps now. Same thing with counters. I don't have it set up yet, but now it actually can go into the app and I can use it if I want to, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much the major changes here. There really aren't too many. Of course, when you go to SMS or your messaging, you can now do uh, voice notes and pictures. You can specifically add multiple pictures to that one message, which is kind of a, a big deal for some people, not for a lot. Other than that, I don't notice a location icon when I run the maps, um, so that's not visible at least. And there really aren't too many other changes. Is it fast? Yeah, it's definitely quicker. What about the camera? Uh, you know, it's hard to do camera tests on this to specifically test changes, but, um, you know, I did do a few photos here, and you can see this funny one here of Steve Jobs on magazine and you know overall there's a kitty cat a couple of kitty cats uh, there's a close-up of my Voigtlander camera overall I actually have to say it does seem a little bit better uh, in the sense that it shoots really quickly and uh, the focusing seems to be pretty good in the white balance actually the metering to me seems more accurate uh, like look at this picture back here there's plenty of shadows bright skies and that white shed back there uh, I actually metered off of the shed and it did adjust pretty well as you can see the rest of the colors were adjusted accordingly uh, before I kind of had some problems with metering here uh, and then of course macro works pretty decently this is a very well lit scene obviously so these photos look pretty decent but uh, I'll throw up actual samples on the site too when I put this post up for you guys so make sure you head to Windows Phone Central to take a look at those other than that not too much new as you know far as features is the standard apps that are included app highlights ESPN uh, I did put the diagnostic app on here from Nokia which you can install yourself uh, and oh, I hit the wrong button there of course but um, you know not too much different here as well there is of course in a new uh, there's NFC which is kind of cool but there's no NFC here so if you're looking for it on a 900 it's definitely not included so other than that not too much other stuff it is nice it feels pretty zippy and the camera I said like is slightly better I do like how the lights are illuminated now and do have some of those extra bonus tangle features it's not an overwhelming update but we're sure there's a lot of under the hood little bug fixes and optimizations that should make it a better experience so there you go hit to Windows Phone Central if you flash your device, hit us up in comments. Let us know if you found anything, and we'll certainly add it to the article. Take care, everybody.